welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Games Challenge. Um, Agneta is giving birth. And it is a baby girl. Okay. Um, sorry for the abrupt intro there. I, <laughs> I was kind of waiting for her to go into the labor all day. Because it is Richard's wedding day. And Agneta was supposed to give birth at like 10 a.m. But... It didn't pop up for me, so I decided to come over here and see if she was in labor, and she was. So we're just trying to get through this um, so that we can get back to Richard for his wedding. So, with that being said, um, baby girl, we will name her Osana. And it is twins, baby boy, let's name him Hugo. Alright, and just twins this time. So these will be Agneta's last kids. This is her sixth and final pregnancy. So these are the kiddos, Hugo and Osana. Cute as always. Oh, Dennis and Ronald have a difficult dynamic. Kind of sad. I'm going to pause it because I have very limited time. So Agneta will probably miss the wedding because she just gave birth. So let's roll though while we're here. So let me get the dice up. So we're going to need to roll for each of these kiddos. And they each need to avoid 1, 5, 10, 15, and 20. So let's roll for Osana first. Oh no. Okay, so Osana will pass away. And let's see about Hugo. Okay, Hugo will live. We also need to roll for Agneta. And she needs to avoid a 1 for each of the births. First roll is good. Second roll is good. Okay, so that's good. Um, but unfortunately, we do need to age up Osana, and she will be passing away. And actually, it's Dennis's birthday tomorrow, which I might not come back for, so let's roll for him as well. Um, and Dennis needs to avoid 9 and 19, so let's roll for him. Osana's cautious, and Dennis got a one, so he will be good tomorrow, so we don't need to come back for that. Unfortunately, though, Osana, our baby girl, is going to be passing away. Oh, don't put her in the trash. Let me move that. Oh, bye, Osana. Oh, I think that was the first kid that actually gave us a gravestone. All right, I'm sorry, Osana. But we do have baby Hugo. So he'll be our last baby. And with that, let's go back to the Hawthorns, who should be heading to the wedding very, very soon. Okay, we made it just in time for the wedding. Hopefully everyone's needs are good. It looks like they are pretty good. Alright, let's start the wedding. Alright, and here's our bride Mari. I love her dress and her hair. Um, hopefully all the other guests come. May take them a while to show up. That's pretty normal. So we can just gather around here. Have everyone sit down. Let's greet the priest here. And he's about the wedding. So he will be their officiant. And let's flirt with... 
Mari. Loss in the family. Is that because of Agneta's daughter? So Agneta's not here uh, clearly because she has just given birth and she's still mourning her daughter as well. I have you guys sit, please. They're sitting literally in the middle of the aisle. Okay, that's better. So let's send up the aisle. Mari and Richard. The toddlers may get in the way, so just ignore that. <laughs> okay, that was a little unceremonious. Richard is hanging his head. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. Send down the aisle. Mari with Richard. Okay, this will be better. No, please don't stand in the aisle. Ceremony, please take your seats. Hopefully they will sit. Okay, we're gonna send them down again. Third time is the charm. I think we have to wait for everyone. Oh my gosh, no! No. There's enough chairs for everyone. Okay, Preston's gonna be there. That's okay. Let's send down the aisle. Mari and Richard. Alright, here they go, getting married. Okay, yes, let's complete it with a kiss. Alright, and Mari's gonna move in with us. And she, uh, her family is also going to give a dowry of, I believe, $500. There we go. Alright, so they are married. Um, they already did their vows, I guess. Do a spousal kiss, though. Oh, no. It's all messed up. It's of the height difference. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a mess. What a mess of a wedding. Oh my gosh. Well, they got through it. Everyone got up and then they stood back down. Alright, everyone can stop sitting. Is that a thing I can have them do is stop sitting? I guess they're just gonna sit for the rest of the time. It didn't turn out exactly like I had hoped, but um, we did the best we could. Um, Alright, look at their little romance bar getting higher. That's so exciting. So, since I don't think we can really get anybody to stand back up, and they did everything they could, um, I think we're good to end the wedding here. They are enjoying each other's company already, which is great. So let's get everyone home. That took quite a long time just to get them to do some basic stuff. Oh, Richard is adventurous. Okay, that's interesting. Um, oh, okay, self-discovery. I thought he was going to die like on this fire or something, but... I forgot it focuses when you get the self-discovery. 
So, I'm sorry this episode has been so chaotic so far. Weddings are so broken in The Sims. It is very sad because I feel like they could be so fun and so beautiful, but they are just a nightmare every time. Oh, everyone's got this because I made them sit down so many times. That's why they're all still seated. Just cancel that out and let everyone go home. Get some good rest after a long day. Okay, they just got home, and I just noticed that Mari is aromantic. So she has no interest or desire for a romantic relationship. It says have zero impact on the romance bar. And they get uncomfortable around Sims who are in a positive romantic relationship with them. So she's going to be uncomfortable with Richard and oh, uh, that is horrible they just got married and she doesn't like she's not interested in romance um, and yet she wants to be a super parent so like she probably knows that I mean she at least needs have a husband to be a super parent um, and raise kids but she's just not interested in the romantic side of things so that um, potentially may cause some difficulties for them so let's pay the bills now that we have a little bit of money And everyone's still trying to make their way home from the wedding. And let's have Mari and Richard go to their bedroom. Spend some time together. They've had a long day of socializing with everyone. So let's do this attempt to seduce for Mari and let's have an inside joke just try to make her feel comfortable flatter her let's oh Mari likes jokes let's flirt oh my gosh Peter Please stop. Go down here. That is the unfortunate thing about this room is they don't really have a door to lock. So does her aromantic mean that her romance bar is never going to increase? Because it is there a little bit. They must have gotten it somehow. Okay, they need a door. I, I cannot deal with this. I can't afford a door and there's not really a great way to put one in. I'm gonna send everyone else to bed. But they stop coming upstairs. Yeah, let's flirt with her some more. Um, gaze lovingly at new spouse. <laughs> Zorpal Pons Galaboo. Bonil! Slap a door! Let's kiss her. Oh, Hoxness. And let's woohoo. Shalif Smetzel, Brisham, Gwynefog, Nicholas, Tulane, Penurk. Quicks by Hartford. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, they have good compatibility. Um, he's still attracted to her. 
and she's attracted to him. But just not interested in the romance. We'll see how that goes. Um, she still wants kids, so this will be an interesting partnership at least. Um, but yeah, they just won't be super romantic together. And not all couples are, so that's okay. So hopefully they'll have some kids soon. It's like Bridget's outside. Oh, I did notice too, um, Bridget wants to flirt with Aiden. So she is interested in him. Richard's doing some research. Can we harvest these things? Harvest. Ooh, he can evolve now too. That's good. Can we evolve these ones? No, not quite. I'm not sure how to get those yet. He might need a higher um, gardening skill still. Yeah, he's at level 3. Not quite though for those. So yeah, we are in kind of a dire financial situation. I think Richard's going to need to um, really lean into fishing a lot. Um, because that was kind of lucrative and he hasn't been able to do it in a long time. So he will need to start doing that more. All right, Mari is settling in. She spent the night cleaning up around the house to prove to her new family that she can be useful around the house. Um, since they have all the main chores covered, I'm not really sure what she will settle on doing. And she'll have to get to know everyone better because she hasn't really interacted with everyone too much. Just like acquaintance level with everyone. But hopefully she'll settle in soon. I'm gonna leave this episode here you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a lot of chaos in the beginning and then kind of, I know, some downer moments too with the loss of Osana and Richard realizing that Mari is a romantic. I don't think he knew that before they got married. It might not be what his ideal state was, but I think they can make it work regardless. Thank you so much for watching this episode and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Leave me a comment of what you think about all this, and I will see you next time.